Right, so we're very nearly halfway through, so let's move on to the next category. Yep, and that's going to be the thought leader category. And this is for a book that, in the judge's opinion, outlines a compelling vision for or provides insight into the development of 21st century entrepreneurship, business or industry. So to present this award, we have Eddie Cottis, Head of Partnerships and Opportunities at Pathway Group. Pathway Group is a provider of workforce development solutions and encourages entrepreneurship and self-development. They're always open to discussing partnership opportunities with businesses and thought leaders, uh, but obviously not right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Eddie's busy on stage. Hi, Eddie. Lovely to have you here. So let's remind everybody of who's made it to this year's shortlist for the Thought Leader Award. The Thought Leader Category finalists are... 24 Assets by Daniel Priestley. Fully Connected by Julia Hobsbawm. Neuro Design by Darren Bridger. The Power of Purpose by John O'Brien and Andrew Cave. The Startup Way by Eric Reeves. Okay, so Eddie, please tell us who the winner is. Can you get the envelope open? It's out. been double stuck down, hasn't it? For the well, winner is the Startup Way by Eric Willis. Representative of, and before you say anything, um, obviously Eric unfortunately can't be with us today. It had to happen to one of the category winners. He, however, sent a short video message all the way from California. Before we play, I checked the weather today because I thought he might look quite smug, 20 degrees, but it's pouring with rain in California. I don't think we'll see that in the video, so we're not missing out on the weather. So let's hear what Eric had to say. Hi everyone, Eric Reese here in sunny California, and it's an honor to be accepting the first ever Business Book Award in the Thought Leader category for The Startup Way. Congratulations and best of luck to all the other finalists. It really is an honor to share this event with so many amazing people. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you all in person as I have young children at home and as a result I've limited my travel quite a bit. I know some of you know exactly what that's like. And I know all of you are here tonight because you share with me an appreciation for the power of words and ideas to shape society. Business authors are especially aware uh, that the most impact is to be had when ideas are put into action. We we all know that business can be a tremendous force, for good or ill, and that the decisions that drive business are made by a relatively small group of people. By influencing the ideas in the minds of those leaders, we have the opportunity to tilt that balance towards the good. And for myself, I believe the perils and opportunities of the coming century mean that we can use entrepreneurship to radically expand the circle of opportunity to many more people. And in fact, we must accomplish this if we intend to defend liberal democracy and the long-term viability of our civilization. So thank you for sharing that immense journey with me. I am truly honored. Thank you. Speech. Yeah. And I um, just want to yeah. thank... Martina is not going to say anything, but this is Martina Sullivan, the publisher, who's picked up the award. You are allowed to say something if you want to. Uh, no, just that Eric would have loved to have been here tonight. He's really delighted to get this award. Unfortunately, San Francisco is, well, it's rainy there, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but, it, but a tricky one to make it. But I'm, I, he's absolutely delighted to get this, and I'll be sending this safely to San Francisco. Lovely. Well, thank you very much, Martina. Thank you very much indeed. So some great words there from Eric and um, choice of glasses. Uh, the judges had a tough decision to make in this category as they felt everyone was a winner. However, they did feel that Neuro Design deserved a special mention as it was a fascinating book. Yes! Too right. As it was a fascinating book and a real contender for the award. Yeah, and actually being a judge in this contest, it's really hard to choose a winner. And there's so many great books to choose from. So as with any competition, there can only be one winner 
in each category, isn't there? Isn't that the case? Absolutely.